All right, unassuming docs. So we're gonna do um, Tiny Tina's, but only to get the Grog Nozzle. That's the main concern right now for me. One, so I'll let this uh, clip play out. The Vault Hunters play the game. The world is on the brink of going blue. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we won't die. Now. Go for initiative! What's initiative? It's just which order we attack. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Now, how did you start over? <laughs> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most tortured game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As the Bunker Master Owl is spinning today's tale of candy canes. Wait, why the hell are we playing this stage game? I don't know, maybe because shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though, shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam a jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play again. Now, pick your character. You've got the Necromancer, the Candle, the Siren. Siren. Did. My siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we got a ways to go even before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... All right, so like I said, we're gonna do this up until we get the grog nozzle. Um, I definitely plan on doing um, a stream at some point this week where um, I had one day I was doing a stream and I had a goal of if I hit 15. Uh, viewers at one time, uh, I would end up streaming for an extra hour. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a cumulative uh, stream is what I'm going to call it. So I'm going to plan on doing the stream for about an hour or two. If at the end of that hour or so, um, I will be uh, pulling out information for this on my uh, Twitch, or Twitter, I mean. But um, if it gets to the point where I... Um, get 15 people I'll continue to go for another hour and then I'll make another goal at that point so I will have all the goals and stuff um, listed so I'm not gonna again I'm not gonna leave you guys in the dark with that so you guys will know all the goals that I'm striving for before the stream actually starts uh, so it's not like I'll get to 15 and then if I decide that I don't really want to stream much longer I'm just gonna say oh 300 so um, you know, I'll make them achievable goals. I'll probably do it something like, you know, it'll be like 15. Then from there, it'll probably be like 40. Uh, you know, then we'll go up from 40. Then it'll probably go up to like, you know, 90 or 100. But that's because I want it to exponentially go up. So if if people are in there, um, you know, because I, I really want people to, you know, know about me. Um not necessarily because I want, uh, you know, again, I'm doing this for fun. I'm also doing it, you know, kind of like a business. But at the same time, I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that just want to watch somebody that I I'm not, I don't consider myself um, a, an expert gamer. I'm just very casual. And so to me, I'm kind of like, you know, I watch people. And I feel like they're a lot better than what I am. So it's cool to watch them and see the cool things you can do. But most of the time I'm sitting there going, ah, oh, I couldn't do that. Um, and, you know, I want pe I want there to be people out there that, you know, are like haters that look, watch me and go, wow, you suck. I'm fine with that. I don't ever, I have never said that I'm an expert gamer. I've never... You know, thought to myself, wow, I am a professional at this. Um, if I was, I'd probably be doing stuff like playing Call of Duty and Halo tournaments. Uh, but I don't do that because I am horrible at Halo. Um, actually, one of my friends uh, 
plays it um, in tournaments, and he's amazing. And I sat there and played with him one day, and uh, I mean, I had like 10 kills, and I was still the lowest in the in the room as far as kills and stuff. Um, I died a lot because um, I just I'm not good at utilizing all the different skills and everything that you have available to you in that game. So, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I don't think other people should have a problem with it, you know? Whatever. It is what it is. So, you know, I want people to know about me solely because of the fact that I am a gamer that's just going to sit here and have fun. I'm going to die. I expect to die. Um, you know, unless I'm sitting there playing... Um, but one life to live where I'm playing it at like hardcore mode I'm going like I said I'm going to die I'm not going to sit there and pussyfoot around just because I don't want to die like I have no problem dying uh, half the fun of this game is going down and trying to get back up honestly I have fun trying to do that um, what do we got here Nova um, not yet Gotta keep what we have. So find Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put a piece down in board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problem. I talk to her. In character. Okay, <clears throat> punch Talk to her. Where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get the grog now is all. Yeah, I mean, I watch people all the time. I really respect the people, you know, that do it day in, day out that, you know, don't particularly have a lot of viewers and stuff um because let's face it i mean you know i have those people that yeah i watch all the time that i've been watching forever and i'm devoted to them but at the same time there's a lot of people that are starting out um you know when if at any point you know i have a lot of viewers and stuff i plan on trying to get together with some of those people and link together um you know, YouTube's a community, um, just like you've got the Borderlands community, uh, stuff like that. Um, I'll be the first to admit, you know, I only made up my Twitter when I first started doing my YouTube and Twitch. Um, before that, I never tweeted or anything. I never really had a need to. For right now, I'm utilizing my tweet, Twitter, my Twitter, um, my Twitter, um, mainly just as a, um, means of people being able to know when I'm streaming and stuff um, particularly if I put a YouTube video out there um, but um, I'm not the best at it um, I don't know how to use all the portions of Twitter um, but I'm learning I'm getting better at it um, I pick up things pretty fast so I don't think I'll have a problem with learning that sort of stuff um, but you know you learn, you slowly adapt to different things. When I first started doing streaming, I was actually using uh, just the Aver Media Cards generic streaming tool. Then I moved over to XSplit. Then from XSplit, I moved over to OBS. There's so much more that you can do with OBS, I feel, than you can do with XSplit, and you don't have to pay for it. Um, but there's so many tools out there for the different things that we do. Um, and I enjoy that, um, that I don't have to choose just one, um, you know, and that I can choose to um, customize the way that I want to. You watch people like Athalian, Baru, Mac, all of their pages look completely different. Um, and most of the time they're using similar... Um, devices and that's really cool that there's that much customization that you customize it um, 
I feel like with X Split there wasn't as much customization, um, and I didn't like that. Um, so I asked Goth what he uses, and he told me that he uses OBS, and so I started using OBS. Um, I hate these little parts where I gotta follow these guys. Cause I gotta punch them what? Oh no, this one I only gotta punch once, but... The one where you're actually doing the uh, quest where... Torg, um... Wants to be a nerd. Um, you have to punch them multiple times. Uh, punch the guy multiple times. You can get it to where you can get it fast enough to where you don't... Uh, don't fly off the edge. That's the only no, thing I always worry about there. Ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. So for recording, I have an Aver Media card that I use. Um, that's the one that I got um, because it's got the portable in it. So if I want to, I actually don't have to have it plugged into my computer to do the streaming and to do the recording. Um, because I do a lot of my recording while I'm streaming. Um, also because I've gotten so used to using um, OBS um, I just kind of do it through OBS um, but let's see okay um, but yeah so I use the Aver Media card and then as far as editor I've been using iMovie but um, like I said when I use iMovie for some reason it doesn't allow me to um, put the audio onto YouTube. It's not working right. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas to do it. I know Mac uses Vegas. Um, so I'm going to use that uh, Vegas Pro. Um, so I got a copy of that and then I'm going to use that. Um, you enter the forest so I'm going to try it out. See how I like that. Um, it seems like you can do a little, again, it seems like you can do a little bit more with that. Um, iMovie is great for simplicity, um, but with all the different, um, with all the different things I'm using, with me having, um, it's streaming to OBS and OBS actually doing the recording, um, I think it's actually more beneficial for me to have, um, Vegas. You know, like I said, I mainly own, um, Mac computers. Um, you know, my laptops and stuff are Mac, um, but for my PC I have, um, you know, Windows-based PC. Um, I, I definitely see a need for all of them. Um, you know, I work, I sell computers. Um, I'm our Apple expert, actually, but I, I definitely see the need for a PC in some instances. Um, for my streaming, it just makes sense for me to go and have something like a PC rather than have it going through a Mac because there's a lot of programs that just aren't available for the Mac. Um, you know, in the near future, I see that becoming something that they'll definitely have, um, but for right now, they don't, and that's perfectly fine. Um, so I have my PC and I do my streaming with it. So. We're not going to go to the side. We're just going to keep on going through the main. Um, follow the Queen's Trail. Because that's just going to take us longer. Um, and it really doesn't. It's not something that we need to do. We can go through it later on if we want to. Yeah, I mean, we sell Elgato's. I just, I like the interface a little bit better with the Aver Media. Um, it was just a little bit more simplistic. And in that case, the Aver Media does have a little bit more that links up with the Mac computers um, as far as drivers and things um, to allow you to do a lot of stuff on the computer. So, um, again. That's, that was a, a little bit of a concern when I was originally getting it um, because I wanted to do some of the stuff. At the time, actually, that I bought my Avermedia, 
I didn't even have a PC. Um, but I acquired a PC because we needed it for, uh, my girlfriend was taking a course that she had to have uh, PC specific software. Juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. Alright, so we'll go get the blood fruit. What's a blood fruit? Jump down here. It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over We're not even gonna bother trying to fight, uh, what's his name? We're just gonna come over here and get the blood fruits. Pick them off. Gotta collect three of them. Alright, cool. We'll end up killing these guys because they might drop a bee shield. And that would be pretty cool right now if we could potentially get them, uh, bee shield. We got all of them. Now we'll kill the tree. No bee shield there. Maybe we'll get a bee shield on this one. It looks like we might have got a B-Shield. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, I think we did. B-Shield. Nice. Uh, so that'll be able to help us out when we're fighting some bosses and stuff. Nice. So it's not as high of um, damage or high of uh, shield capacity, but... Um, so, yeah. I am 26 years old. Uh, we'll be 27 soon, actually. Um, but yeah. Alright, uh, kill some of these guys. I'm gonna end up going down. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go down, though, I think. Maybe we can get out of here. But yeah, I'm 26 years old. Um, been applying to a lot of jobs and stuff. Um, but I do this on my free time uh, when I'm not at work. <laughs> then when I'm at work, I'm working. So, you know. Alright, talk to him. Get that. Get that. We get in here. What's in here? Oh, the Immortal Woods. Then from the Immortal Woods, then we'll go into... So we still have a decent amount, actually, to go. We're going to put on the B-Shield when we fight the dragons here. It'll just make that fight go so much faster. More to you look I'm going to sell some stuff. Uh, get rid of things here. Where's your Get rid of all this. Oh, actually, no. That probably would have been good to hold on to. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that. Uh, 36. We're going to get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, get rid of that. I mean, yes. Very. F okay, we'll get rid of that because we don't need it right now. Um, get rid of all this stuff because our... Um, grenade that we have is still a lot better. Wait, let's see what that uh, shield was. As long as it wasn't an amp shield. Yeah, actually, we're going to keep that shield as well. Uh, we're going to end up putting that on because um, it does a lot more. I mean, yeah, over a thousand, then we get a little bit of royal damage, which isn't going to be super effective because obviously we're playing as a gunzerker. Uh, but, you know. Alright, let's see here. Kill all these guys. Come on. Kill this badass. Uh, 
take him out. But yeah, I mean, you can see slowly, I mean, our um, conference call and all our weapons are really just dying down very slowly. I mean, we're getting to the point where they're not really doing much, so we gotta start getting better, and better weapons. Uh, that's what happens in uh, true Vault Hunter mode. Everything levels up so much faster um, as far as the amount of damage they deal out um, and everything. So, but, I mean, we're level 36 now, so we actually can put on, um, swap out this for this guy. Um, let's actually put it on here. Uh, we'll see how this works out. We're actually gonna put that uh, skill point in. So we're all set there. So we're making good prog progress. Um, we'll probably finish up here, get the grog nozzle, and then be done for the day. Um, I know it'll only be about 11:30, but um, I don't want to go too far into the main story and then just have to stop at a really random uh, point. So. Because that's what ends up happening sometimes. You end up going through the storyline. Um, so actually, wait, let's see here. Uh, are we going the right... Oh, no, we got to go find the queen. So we got to go this way. My bad. I always forget to go over here. I always try to just go straight for Roland. I gotta work on uh, both my mic and getting my camera in a better, a little bit of a better placement on my camera. Um, I just don't know how I would particularly set it up because the way that my setup is designed here. Um, I have my 60 inch television that has my Xbox hook up to it. Then my Xbox goes into my Ava Media card, which goes into my PC, which has its own monitor plugged into it, which is to my left. And then I've got my Mac computer, which is showing me what's actually streaming and showing me chat. Um, and just the way that that's all set up, I don't really have a great way um, to have it all set up where I'm right in front of my camera. Because um, the monitor is a little too far away. And if I was that close to my... Um, if I was that close to my um, uh, 16 screen television, that would just be way too close. Uh, so, yeah, so. Um, but again, I'll end up figuring it out. Um, at the point where I end up having it where my PC is fully built, I'll probably end up just doing straight PC and not even really worrying about um, streaming from a video game console. The only time when that'll happen is like when I'm playing Destiny or a game that's strictly console uh, based which it looks like a lot of game. you know there's not as many games as there used to be that are strictly console based um, um, I think you know obviously there's a couple of ones that are come out for the PS4 or the Xbox 360 but a lot of games now are just better known for PC because of the ability of the PC. I mean, you can build a PC that's half the, you know, it, it's, it costs a little bit more than the uh, console, but overall you're just gonna get a lot better of a system. I mean, the components you can put into the the new uh, gaming consoles are pretty much just mini computers, and but the like graphics cards and everything they put inside of it are junk compared to what you can get on uh, in a PC. This guy's gonna go away, really. Really? 
all right, we're going to put the conference call on because the conference call is going to be able to help us out. I thought the um, that handgun was going to do a lot better, but the conference call will shoot a lot faster, so it'll end up helping us out more. So we're going to have to wait for our guns are going to Well, it won't be too long for our guns are going to go up, but here we go. Guns are, uh, conference call. Um, then we'll... Yep. Able to gun Zerk right now. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Way better. Way, way better being able to do that. So, yeah. Take out these dragons really fast. And then we got one more dragon that we have to worry about. Yep. There we go. The blue dragon. Gotta get all the colors of the rainbow. So yeah, all right, perfect. Now we'll go back to our regular shield because we don't need to worry about uh, as much right now. Cool. Talk to the White Knight. I think we're gonna have to do the. Um, actually, we might have to battle the kings and their heads and all that stuff, so... We're gonna end up having to put the B-Shield back on, but for right now, I'm just gonna keep it where it's at right now. Kill this guy. Just cause. Might as well. Because we gotta wait for our Roland anyways. So might as well kill some of this stuff while we're waiting for him. So far we haven't seen any of the guys that respawn. I know when we're fighting the kings, we're definitely gonna have to battle a bunch of them, but... Um, those guys aren't that bad. The only problem is if you don't take them down, then just reviving and then coming back and hurting you. And they don't help you to revive, actually. Because you can't get up off of them if you're um, leading out. You can't get a second wind off of them. Because they don't actually, I guess, officially die. So. That gets a little annoying. Alright. Stand here and raise thy sword. Yeah, we're going to go back to the B-Shield because I know that we're going to be going up against the Kings. But then we'll be in the Mines of Avarice, which will be... Where we get the Grog Nozzle, so that'll be good. down for some stupid reason. But since that guy uh, was following us. Wait, I've only killed one out of five enemies? Didn't I just kill three dragons with the Amplified Shield? Alright. Oh, what's this one? Ammo Shrine? Uh, no, I'm not going to use two. I mean, after you have everything maxed out, I guess it doesn't matter what you if you use it, but right now I have I have enough ammo and I'm the um, Dunzerker, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, you got to give him the Blood Fruit. Let him start the spell. And tell us that he is the Dark Sorcerer and that he screwed us over. Just like in the main storyline. Alright, 
so we'll kill the kings here. Where's he at? Over here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The relentless, like, these guys are just really annoying. Take it out. Come on. There we go. Yeah. His head. His head. Come on. What? I mean, he's still not dead? How's this guy not dead? Oh. And I'm not gonna be able to get back up because. Well, is there a skeleton king's head? Yeah! There we go. Cool. Alright. Oh. That was really hard. I thought it was screwed. I mean, that's the only problem is that you don't get, um... Alright, I'm gonna keep him there. I'm just gonna keep on... Yep. That way, if I do go down, I don't have to worry because those guys are can. Um, second wind off of. King Crow, no. So kill him. Uh, I don't know, I tend to have issues with these guys just because, for whatever reason I do, I don't know why. See, so I'm gonna end up going down because there's no guys around. Um, you don't get enough of just the regular uh, skeletons in this area, so you do end up going down solely because of that. Um, and I hate that. Um, but we'll go back in. I think right now all we have to do is yeah, it's just the head, so that's not too bad. We should be able to kill this head pretty fast. can't uh, suck a wind off of them, so if you go down, and then if, you know, unless you kill their heads, you can't suck a wind off of these guys either. Alright, just gotta be careful. So, take him out. They just have so much health is the issue. Take him down, then hopefully we'll be able to... Take over his head. Uh, there we go. Take his head out. Yep. Cool. One last one. Uh, where does he come out of? Right there. Yep, so we're on the last one. down, then we'll get up off this uh, animated skeleton. Okay, so. Perfect. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And then we're just going to have to kill his head, which shouldn't be a problem. Alright, perfect. And then we got his head. She kills pretty fast. We'll be able to take it down. It's gonna come back at us. Yep. Reload. And take it out again. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so everything is killed here. I'm just gonna pick up everything. We'll see if anything's good uh, later on. Got turned into Roland. Right? Yeah. 
perfect. Uh, casual bang stick. We'll just take a casual bang stick. Why not? Um, so yeah, we're gonna take up all this iridium weapons and stuff real quick. Just see if there's anything good. I didn't see anything really that good drop, but you never know. I, I don't really get to look at the stats while everything's just dropping, so. I think it's only a couple of them that actually drop a lot of the stuff. So, all right, so we're gonna head towards the Mines of Avarice, and we should be able to get the Grog Nozzle very shortly here. We're just gonna gun start just so we can go faster. Is this? Oh yeah, it's a mimic up here. You can't shoot them early. So. Open those. And then. Get up and then. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Chaotic like Evil Monk. Neutral. We still get the plus money in the shot. Chaotic Good Monk. Chaotic Good Monk. I mean, you know what? For right now, we might actually take that. Um. Why not, right? I mean, we don't have to worry about getting it exactly the way we need it. Um, it'll help us with the money shot. We'll get extra damage in there. Um, yeah, I'll end up putting on one of those um, after we get the Grog Nozzle, after we start it next time. little dragons everywhere. Oops. Got stuck. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about killing all of these dragons and stuff. We're just going to run right through here. Maybe I'll just do this. Just for fun. Just for shits and giggles. Run through. get the ones that are actually out but I'm not gonna wait for all of them to spawn because there there's so many of them come out you'll be sitting there for hours just killing and killing and killing you enter the dwarven mines you hear the anguished wails of the sorcerers political prisoners and enslaved wars So we're just going to keep running, get out of here, because I don't want to get caught up. Fighting the guy that just keeps on overpowering himself. Alright, so we come down here, go talk to him. I'm going to have to punch him. I wish you did have an option. Um, you know, considering that this is kind of like one of those... Um, this DLC is set up so it's supposed to be like Dungeons and Dragons where you have choices. I wish that they had set it up with more options, I guess. Where like we actually roll a dice and there's not a set outcome. Um, so if you... 
So if you go through the game, you know, multiple times, every time it... Obviously, the outcome at the end would be the same, but, like, the middle areas would be a little bit different. So maybe sometimes you'd punch him. Maybe sometimes you wouldn't punch him. Uh, you know, even if they made it, like, a rare chance that you wouldn't punch him, uh, that would be something cool as well. Um, where if, like, you know, you had to roll a 20 on the die in order to not punch him. Um, because that would add for, you know, at least a slim chance that you would have a different ending. Or, well, not different ending, but different, um, you know, outcome. Um, and that would just be really cool. I mean, it's a full DLC anyways, so it's not like it would have been ridiculous for them to add in a little bit extra stuff like that. I get that they're trying to get be uh, between certain size restraints and things, um, but... Alright, so this is where we're gonna go up here, we're gonna get the Grog Nozzle. I'm just glad we don't have to go through, um, oh, uh, what is it, through so we fight the sorcerer's daughter and stuff like that. Uh, that area is, oh, that area is just annoying. So here we go, let him open that up. So the one thing I think I will do for my Gunzerker character is I'm going to make it so that when I, um, oh, ask what's her about there. Um, when I do get done with true Vault Hunter mode, I'm going to trade my Grog Nozzle that I have. I have a level 50 Grog Nozzle. I'm pretty certain from the loot hunt. Um, so I'll end up trading that over. So I can have it. In fact, I found one just the other day. But you can't have this one. You can find your own. Alright, so we got this. Hey! Now we'll talk to him, pick up this, and we have the grog nozzle. Sweet. So grog nozzle there. Oh, it's a binary grog nozzle. Cool. Alright. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure that you guys rate, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And this is Five Jaeger Dude 518Z.